Hello, my name is Ramon Quintero and I am a Canva certified creative. And today we're gonna to be doing infographs in Canva. So let's dive in. All right, as you can see, Canva has a number of templates to choose from. I will be starting with a blank canvas, but I have taken time to choose some colors, some text, direction that I want to take with this particular project. So with this one, I am simply going to just start building it out. I'm going to start with my colors. I wanted something bold, something vibrant. And at this point, I want to make sure that I have some breaks within this project. So I'm going to be breaking this up into a couple blocks. And as I do this, I want to point out that I have taken the time to speed up this video to make sure that we can accommodate our time together and make sure that you guys can benefit from what we're going to be doing with this infograph and what we're going to be covering. So in this particular one, I am simply breaking down this template. And at this point, I'm going to be um, making sure by just setting the block and measuring things out just to kind of get a better feel for what I want to do with this particular template. I, right now, it seems to be I'm just going to adjust the, the two panels that I have here and lower them down so that I can make sure that I have them um, just where I want them um, and giving me a good layout of this template. I feel pretty good about this, so let's go with this. Um, at this point, I want to highlight that at, in this particular project, I want to just share some fun facts with you guys. And this is gonna be coming out of a book that one of my kids have been recently enjoying, um, just learning about the wild, learning about survival, and I, I'll make reference to that book in this particular one. I do wanna highlight in this particular case, all these elements as you see on the left, I have taken time to select them. There's 20 elements here of animals, all elements that have been found in Canva. And I have taken the time to just put them in a folder so that I could easily access them for this particular project. So as you see, I'm laying out the, the text format, the body of this infograph. I highlight it, just something fun. I want to highlight facts, give it a title. As you see, I'm going to be utilizing all these animals that you see on the left so that I can utilize them throughout this whole project. At this point, I'm just simply going to uh, adjust, make sure that I'm happy with the setting of what I'm doing, lay things out, and make sure that it's appealing to the eye. At this point, I'm going to just choose some of the animals that I want to kind of just highlight as a way to just draw attention to the title at the beginning. So I'm going to just start off with the snake in this particular one. This snake I'm going to utilize again towards the end of this project. But for right now, I'm just going to utilize it as a way to kind of just set a statement at the beginning. And I just want to have fun with this particular project. So, so yeah, I'm happy with the layout. As you notice, I'm going back and forth because I already have some built text information. As you see, these are informations that I've taken ahead of time to be able to lay out this particular infograph. As you see, I'm taking a, a good number of facts and information from this book titled uh, Mother Nature is Not Trying to Kill You. And you can see the, the author there, um, Rob Nelson and Haley Nelson. And I'm going to be just laying out some unique animals to this particular graph. I want to make sure that all the graphics that I use are somewhat vintage line designs as you see the snake the book some of the animals on the left all of them have a unique style to them um, very universal to this particular project that I want to establish and as I continue to build out this particular infograph I repeat I have text built for these things and I'm just building it off of the headers off of the body and then all this information is kind of coming in from fun facts from this particular book and just double checking also online as I'm building this out. We're kind of just doing a mosquito versus um, sharks and the, the difference between um, some of those interesting facts of, you know, average death per year. Um, so I have my layout. I'm going to be utilizing three unique different charts in terms of bar graphs, um, line graphs, and also this unique one which utilizes um, icons which is pretty cool because you can easily change colors you can easily change the format of the number by just adjusting the bars as you can see right there right away you could see the the power behind what ken was doing with this particular um, tool by utilizing these particular icons and utilizing them in a way that easily um, populates any project for whatever you have interest in and at this point, I just want to adjust, make sure that I get it just right. As you notice the number right there, I'm going for a million 
obviously we have 100 people accounted for right there so i'm simply going to just adjust that by just multiplying that by putting a number right next to it and applying like times 10,000 or something like that but i'm going to continue to add the information that i have built already and utilizing it um, as i'm laying out this particular template as I'm adjusting, it looks pretty good. I like what I'm seeing. I have the number laid out. I'm looking for the next header, which is header three that I, I had set up for this project. And I wanna make sure that I emphasize it is times 10,000 because I am trying to indicate that this is going to be an equivalent to a million humans per year. And then just continue to add some of these animals that I have laid out for this project. I'm going with almost three colors here, the bright orange, the bold orange, the dark blue and navy blue and then we're going with a just a, a white contrast color for this project so this template it's it's really utilizing the the graphs the elements in terms of the graphics in terms of the animals and you, you just working with topography working with the text highlighting what's important and then making the title is big enough to emphasize the breaks between this project and it's really important to to be able to lay things out in a way that think of how your eye is moving back and forth your eye is going to be moving to the titles and then the elements that are popping out in this case i'm focusing a lot on the animals to make sure that it's very clear that i am talking about mosquitoes and sharks and and, and just laying things out in this particular format yeah, this project was truly a lot of fun in terms of finding out some interesting facts, having fun with some of the elements, line elements, illustrations that Canva already has within their platform, and just finding the right ones to be able to kind of just bring this together. And I, I'm going to continue to use different charts throughout this infograph because that is something that I want to really highlight the power that Canva uh, and the work that they have put to really make this a really powerful tool for any projects or presentations that anybody may have. For me, it was very helpful to lay out some of these um, texts ahead of time so that one, I have the information that I want to highlight. I want to be able to break it down in a particular way. And, and at this point, it's just structuring, moving things around, getting the right colors for the fonts, getting the right layout for where I want to put particular animals and which tool I want to utilize for a particular chart. In this case, I want to point out the importance of being able to just interchangeably switch these particular formats as you can see right there just moving the bar and easily changing it dramatically and the, the nice thing that you could utilize this in many ways but also change colors put in the data that you need and then adjust as needed and really the the chart here helped me with utilizing as a speedometer to be able to highlight this point um, in this particular infograph as I am adjusting the numbers here, adjusting the, the format in this particular progress, you could call it progress bar speedometer to highlight the importance of this project. Um, the reason that I ended up going with breaking up sections is also to help me and guide me in laying out the information and also driving the as you move from top to bottom, you can see everything's broken down with purpose and it's visually also appealing to the eye. And remember, with particular projects like this, you don't have to go too crazy with multiple fonts, multiple colors, or different styles of graphics. Really, I have big pieces in this particular project, which is I'm utilizing pretty much two fonts. I'm utilizing one style of graphics, which is illustrations, line illustrations. And then I'm just utilizing three colors, which is the navy blue, the bold orange, and the color white and that's pretty much it for this particular infograph as i'm just building it out and i'm making sure that i'm emphasizing the titles in this particular one i'm going to utilize the bar chart and just i'm going to really uh, eliminate all the information that is not needed here i only need one set of information one bar per se um so i'm going to just delete delete the items i don't need the names because i'm going to utilize icons to kind of showcase what i am talking about and the numbers here so as you can see on the left right underneath that's big i'm highlighting four animals and highlighting the weight and you can see just by putting it in the chart the pounds initials you don't have to put it on all of them it uh, automatically populates it now i have a bar bar chart utilizing it in a way that just kind of just adds a different dynamics to this particular infograph 
And as I utilize this, I already have the information that I need. I'm double checking some of the numbers here, making sure that I have them right as I, I wanted them. And now that I'm happy with that, I'm gonna just adjust and start adding some of these animals, some of the icons. Yes, you can put some of the words right underneath the bar, so you can do that. In this particular project, I wanted to showcase just some of the icons and just continue to just build some of these um, elements into this particular project. I'm gonna resize them, kind of put them right underneath those bars to kind of showcase, all right, I am talking about an elephant, I am talking about a hippo, I am gonna be talking about a rhino, the white rhino here. And then lastly, I'm gonna be highlighting the giraffe. And the numbers are there to remind me, okay, hey, this is how much they weigh. The bar is also another reminder and showcasing what Canva can do with some of these um, charts. And um, also visually, it's appealing to this particular project. So that's why I ended up going with this one. All right, I think that's a good adjustment. Now I'm gonna just start building some of the other elements that I wanted to utilize. I wanna just kind of just use some line illustrations of the animals that I just used for this one. Some of them are gonna be more noticeable than others. Um, just because of the layout of this particular block, there's definitely a little bit more information, but it's very much doable. And as you can see, I'm just taking out the animals from the folder that I had built all illustrations from Canva, and I'm simply changing the colors, adjusting the size, and kind of just placing them in a, in a place that would be kind of just fitting for, for those particular elements. With projects like this, it's very important to kind of ahead of time, try to gather as much information as possible, experiment, look for illustrations, gather a whole bunch of things that you may want to use, find a palette that you're happy with, and then lastly, I have this block of information, which is just highlighting this, this snake. Uh, it's an extinct snake. Um, it's a big snake. <laughs> um, but to finish out the project, I wanted to just showcase one last feature of the charts, which is the progress bar. And um, the progress bar can be used for so many things. Um, for, for this particular one, I'm just gonna utilize it to just showcase um, the, the length the length of this particular snake um, and be able to highlight how to kind of just make good use of some of these tools. So right now I know that the size of this snake um, that is extinct already is 42 feet. So I'm going 42 and then the difference in, in the other one, which is the line weight, is just finding it and adjusting as needed. I wanted to not extend the big the big text that I already have, so I'm kind of just adjusting that as needed and then gonna be altering the colors to make sure I'm matching with this particular theme that I have. And I did take the time to adjust on the, the text. You could see this progress bar um, without this information, you probably wouldn't know I'm referring to feet. So I want to make sure that I, I am indicating it. All right, it's 100 feet versus I'm starting from zero, going 100 feet. And this this particular snake, I'm, I'm highlighting and saying, hey, this is a big one. It's 42 feet long. And, and this is how I wanted to showcase it and also highlight it as, as a bold statement and put the number there and adjust it um, with, with a particular graphic. I have some snakes that I can utilize for this. I wanna make sure that I put the name of it on the side. I did look it up. I believe it's Titanoba, um, as you pronounce this extinct snake, uh, which is 42 feet long. That is crazy. I wanna just utilize this particular um, illustration right here. I'm going to make sure that I make it big enough so that I can kind of just showcase the importance of, of something very big. And obviously it's a snake so I'm just adjusting. I want to layer it where it's going to be on top of that 42 so that I can give it some depth. Yep, I'm happy with that. I'm going to adjust this text. I, I, I noticed that I'm going to have to um, go back and adjust. I'm going to have to adjust that um, second snake so that I can make sure that I can at least make emphasis that I am talking about snakes. I'm having fun with that. Um, these are just random facts that I found in this book. Very cool. Worth checking out. Um, but yeah, um, definitely has been so much fun being able to just experiment with all the features that Canva has. And here you go. There you have it. Hope you guys enjoy it.
I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, you can find me at Weekend Designs or my Facebook group, which is titled Canva for Church. Hope to see you on the inside. Thanks.